Roger Fisher, getting to yes, negotiating agreement without giving in. Welcome to an invigorating exploration of negotiation tactics that promise win-win solutions for both parties. Getting to Yes, Negotiating Agreement Without Giving In is a classic book by Roger Fisher that dismantles traditional adversarial negotiations and presents a more enlightened perspective. While shedding light on trench warfare's negative consequences, the summary highlights the significance of addressing emotions and considering the people involved in the negotiation process. The overarching message advocates separating the factual level from the interpersonal level, thus promoting mutual understanding and collaboration. Ditching Trench Warfare Conflict Conflicts can often devolve into trench warfare, with opposing parties fiercely defending their initial positions and seeking victory or avoiding defeat at any cost. This mindset not only prolongs disputes and consumes valuable time and energy, it also often results in suboptimal outcomes and can damage long-term relationships. By eschewing the trench warfare approach, individuals can work together towards mutually beneficial solutions and preserve valuable connections. Trench warfare conflicts are all too common, each side stubbornly digs in and only concedes when absolutely necessary. The focus lies on winning or sidestepping humiliation, rather than collaboratively discovering an optimal solution. This combative approach prolongs arguments and drains resources, often pushing both parties to adopt even more extreme positions, anticipating the need to make compromises. More than just obstructing resolution, engaging in trench warfare can jeopardize the relationship between the parties involved. Seemingly minor disputes can suddenly become deal-breakers, leading to the dissolution of valuable partnerships. Words like, if that 2% discount matters more than our long-term collaboration, find another supplier, exemplify how damaging this mentality can be. In summary, the trench warfare mindset in conflicts hinders effective problem-solving, wastes precious resources, and harms relationships. By steering clear of such an approach, better, mutually satisfying outcomes can be achieved, and important connections preserved. Balancing Facts and Emotions Recognizing that negotiations comprise of both facts and emotions is critical to achieving satisfactory outcomes. Each participant arrives with their own subjective interpretations, ensuring that multiple realities exist simultaneously within the negotiation space. People's reactions to different situations and emotions may vary, impeding mutual understanding. Consequently, effective negotiators must exercise empathy and embrace the dual levels, factual arguments and human perceptions, inherent to every negotiation. Remember, successful outcomes depend on your ability to identify and address the emotional needs of the people you are negotiating with. Negotiate for win-win solutions. In negotiations, the objective should not be to defeat the other party. Instead, both sides should collaboratively seek a long-term resolution. To succeed, negotiators should stick to facts, avoiding emotional arguments. Seeing each other as partners working towards a win-win outcome is crucial. Taking a neutral perspective, using dispassionate language, and addressing issues instead of targeting individuals all contribute to a productive negotiation. For example, a separating couple should focus on the best future arrangements for their children, rather than placing blame for the failed marriage. Both participants in a negotiation should seek a long-term, joint solution rather than trying to outweat one another. Focusing on factual information, rather than emotions, is key to reaching mutually beneficial agreements. Viewing each other as partners, not adversaries, encourages a win-win mindset. To maintain a rational and cooperative atmosphere, the negotiators must adopt a neutral stance and use unbiased language. Avoid personal attacks or accusations, which can lead to emotional responses and hinder progress. By tackling the problem collectively instead of confronting each other, the parties can collaborate effectively. For example, a separating couple should concentrate on finding the best arrangements for their children, rather than allocating blame for the marital breakdown. Attack the issue, not your negotiation counterpart. Uncovering hidden interests. 
In negotiations, seemingly opposing positions might not be as incompatible as they initially appear. Delving beneath the surface to uncover the true interests driving these positions can lead to solutions that satisfy both parties' desires without necessitating compromise. It's crucial to explore all relevant interests, identify what basic needs are driving each party, and communicate one's drivers and interests openly. By understanding the underlying motivations and similarities between both sides, it becomes easier to find effective solutions that provide mutual satisfaction. When negotiating, it's important to examine the underlying interests behind each party's position. For instance, if a couple has contrasting holiday plans, such as one wanting a seaside vacation while the other prefers the Alps, considering their unique desires for activities like swimming and rock climbing might lead to a solution like vacationing near a mountain lake. Keep in mind, individual positions can stem from multiple and diverse interests, such as geography, accommodations, and food. To arrive at a constructive outcome, it's essential to identify all relevant interests, prioritize them and recognize areas for potential, painless concessions. Understanding the main driving forces, like the need for recognition, control, security, and belonging, is also important. Asking questions to clarify the other party's motivations, as well as expressing one's own interests, enables both sides to reach a mutually satisfying agreement. Uncover Balanced Negotiation Outcomes In negotiations, it's common for individuals to arrive with predetermined solutions, but this approach is inherently flawed as it only considers one side. Instead, navigate successfully through negotiations by first brainstorming and exploring various possibilities collaboratively. Treat negotiations as a two-phase process, outlining potential solutions and then agreeing on one. Begin with the most extreme positions and traverse through different scenarios while paying attention to details. Encourage creativity, use sketches, seek expert opinions, and playfully explore varying perspectives. This method leads to multiple options and, ultimately, mutually beneficial solutions. As we conclude our journey through getting to yes, let's revisit the chief takeaways. Embracing the duality of negotiation involving both facts and human emotions, the need to work collaboratively rather than combatively, and the criticality of understanding underlying interests before seeking solutions. By adopting an open mindset and following Fisher's sound advice, readers are equipped to achieve mutually satisfying negotiation outcomes. Say, goodbye, to the destructive, win-lose mentality and start exploring a whole new world of harmonious, productive negotiation tactics that could dramatically enhance both personal and professional relationships.